Running a Chainlink node is a little bit different than running like a Bitcoin or Ethereum node. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a really simple one set up on the GCP. It won't be a security audited, monitoring enabled, all the bells and whistles. It'll just be a node to get you set up and start actually being able to run jobs. I'll probably make another video on the actual Chainlink channel, but this will give you all the basics that you need. If I go too fast or slow, feel free to pause or double the speed of the The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is set up an account with the Google Cloud Platform. It's really easy, you can get it done in about 10 seconds. So try Google Cloud Platform for free. My name is Basedlink. I agree, continue. Step two, plug in your info, start my free trial. You have to actually plug in your info, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, once you're in, we'll say welcome. My name is Based, and you put your credit card in, but don't worry, you won't be building unless you turn on automatic building. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is come over to Compute Engine, BM instances. It'll give you some helpful tips here. It takes a couple minutes to actually get set up. Just hang tight, it'll be up in a minute. And now that we're in, we're gonna go ahead and hit create. We pick the name. We're gonna do this on Coven. Region, that's fine. Machine type, we're gonna do two cores and eight gigs of memory. Then we're gonna change the flavor of Linux that we have. We can, you can do whatever you want here. I'm just gonna use Ubuntu. This one here, and then we're also gonna do an SSD disk, select that. We're gonna allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic, and we're going to hit create. And now we're just gonna wait a couple minutes for it to get set up, and awesome. Okay, so once this is up, now we get to go and set up our database. So we're gonna click this button here. We're gonna scroll on down to SQL. We're going to create an instance. We're gonna use Postgres. So before we actually fill any of this out, we're actually gonna to need to add an API. So we're gonna go API and services library. And we're gonna look up service networking API, which I think was just there. We're gonna hit this, we're gonna enable it. Okay, great, close that window. Now we can add chain link, just call it chain link instance, show configuration. Just a couple of quick tips here. You don't want it to be public. You definitely want it private. And we're gonna to have to enable service networking API. Let's go ahead and enable that. Another key piece that you would need is you would need a highly available node. So you'd come down here, go to backups recovery and highly available. You'd want to set it to highly available here. Uh, we're just going to make it simple. So we're gonna keep it single zone here. And you're gonna hit create. And this will take a little bit longer than the VM. So we're just gonna sit tight here. And great, we have the instance up. When you make a production one, there's gonna be a couple permissions you're gonna to need to do here, including who can access the database. But again, we're gonna ignore that for now. Let's jump into the users. Let's add a user. Now we're gonna go over to databases. We're gonna create one and we're gonna call it Chainlink Coven DB. And that's pretty much it for the simple setup. And the last thing that you're gonna to need to do is install the Google Cloud SDK. I have Mac OS, so you can just click here and the, all the instructions are here to install it. The reason that we need to install the SDK is that we have to actually SSH tunnel into our Google Cloud VM. They have an SSH button here, but it won't allow us to actually tunnel in and view the GUI. So we need to actually install the SDK. So we're gonna to wanna to log in with this command. Base link, that's me. <laughs> Allow, and perfect. We are now authenticated. And just in case we don't have the right project ID, we can copy this and do gcloud config set project and the project ID. Great, well, we're already there. Now we wanna actually SSH tunnel in using this command right here. Again, in the description, if you want to just copy paste it, but we're gonna to have to change the project ID to, again, what we find right here. And then the VM name that we just created. Again, that's gonna be this right here. We hit enter. Oops, and also the zone. We'll 
which is right here. And this will take a minute. And awesome, we are now logged into a fresh Linux box. Now we have all the key ingredients that we need. We have our command line, we have our database, and we have our Linux box. Now, once we've made it this far, we can actually just follow the chain link docs. So first thing we wanna do, download Docker. We're using Ubuntu. This will actually kick you out and then we gotta go back in. So if you just hit up on your keyboard, you should just grab the command you just had. So great, we're already back in. And we're literally just gonna follow along on the documentation here. We're on Coven. Great. Same thing, Coven, copy, paste, clear it out. Now we're gonna set our Ethereum client URL. For now, we're gonna do the easier way to get this. If you wanna set up your own Ethereum client on the same machine, you know, feel free to look into the documentation here. We're just gonna use an external provider to make it easy. If you're using Robson or Mainnet, Fuse is a fantastic tool for this. Uh, we're using Coven, so we're actually gonna use Infura here but feel free to use whatever external client you want. And we just sign up here. Once you verify your email address, we can come to create a project. We're gonna call it Chainlink Coven. We're gonna go to the settings of the project and where it says endpoints, we're gonna to go to Coven. We're gonna copy the WSS endpoint, which is the WebSocket one. And we're gonna go back, we're gonna do echo eth URL equals change me, that's pretty funny. We're gonna push it into chainlinkcoven.emb. We can even check it by, we even check it here. Great, it has been updated. And now we're going to set the remote database URL config. This is where we're gonna get our database that we just made in the GCP. So we can even copy paste this in here for now. Let's go back to SQL. And what we're gonna need is our username, our password, server, port, and database. So our username, so our username is right here. Paste it in there. Your password. If you have some special characters in your password, it might look a little weird in the URL. The server we can get from this address right here. Paste it in. Port 5432, that's for all Postgres. And then database. Going to be this one right here. You'll need this when you have your backup VM, but we're just going to skip this for now. And now we can start the node. Ask for a new password. Input your email. Give this a password. This will be for the, the front end. This will be for the GUI. And now it's running. So now that it's running, we can actually go to localhost 6688. This is where we SSH tunneled into and we have our GUI. And we're gonna sign in. And boom. And now we have a Chainlink node running on Coven right now. Then right after this is done, the next piece that you're definitely gonna to wanna to go through is this fulfilling request document, but you now have all the infrastructure set up to do all this through the GUI. If you're looking for why you should run a node in the first place, check out the next video. Also check the links in the description. I wrote a sweet article that explains pretty much everything. If you don't know how the Chainlink nodes work, be sure to head on over to the Chainlink engineering tutorials. There's some fantastic videos there that shows you exactly how they work and we'll walk through it exactly. Links will be in the description. If you have a question, 
be sure to leave a comment in the description below and or join the Node Operators Discord community. It's really active and a great place to get support, connect with other Node Operators and start brainstorming some ideas. I also have an Alpha Chain Discord if you want to connect with Alpha Chain and talk to us about getting custom data, running to Node, etc. Stay tuned for another video as to why you should run a Chainlink node, what it takes to monitor a Chainlink node, and a couple other aspects as well. But this is the simple setup for the GCP. I'm Patrick Alphacy, signing out.